Wow, man of the year. Take that, David Beckham. I'm honored to be standing here. Thank you, Amanda, for that kind introduction. I would like to take the opportunity to thank my football club, Adelaide United, my teammates, coaches, the entire organization, the league, for stepping up and being there for me. And a huge thank you to everyone here tonight. You've done the most amazing thing. You've showed up. As a professional athlete, we are taught showing up is crucial to success. Every training, every game, it's ingrained. Show up for your coach, teammates, fans. Give everything. Truthfully, I was holding back, hiding out, avoiding difficult conversations, isolating myself off the pitch, living silently in the closet on the pitch, unable to live openly. I thought, how can I be a champion while hiding? I was ready to be that person I always wanted to be, to show up. That's the gift I gave myself, my team, my loved ones. I came out on October 27th, 2021. <laughs> If you're a coach, a team owner, employer, teacher, parent, friend, think of the profound benefits in creating open, accepting, safe environments where everyone emerges from the shadows brighter. The support I have received is beyond, but the work is still needs to be done is staggering. For many, standing up and living honestly puts them in harm's way. It's dangerous, even deadly. We're far from true equality when 69 countries still criminalize LGBTQ people brushes these issues off, not realizing their son, daughter, or teammate might be LGBTQ. That's a teacher they love is transgender, athletes they cheer for are bisexual or non-binary. That's why we must stand up, speak up like all of you, showing up for all those who can't. That's my promise to this vital community I love and am proud to call home. I'm here. I promise to be there for the gay athletes showing up on their first day of football tryouts, to speak up for transgender athletes showing up at national and international competitions like the Olympic trials, not knowing if they're able to compete by the very federations meant to support, protect, and champion athletes, just like the Olympic Charter states. I vow to stand up for the LGBTQ athletes and the fans at the World Cup in Qatar, who can't live openly, authentically. Qatar, FIFA, the world is watching. Do you see us? I urge sport leaders to consider our rights, our safety while choosing host countries for World Cups and other competitions. We must do better. I take this honour and its duties and responsibilities and promise to rise to that challenge. Thank you, Darren. Cliff, the attitude. You've had my backs throughout the start. It's mean everything. Thank you to the incredible Michelle Visage. And shout out to you all, the generous UK LGBTQ community, for embracing me. Tonight, we celebrate. These are the moments to stand loud and proud in who we are. No longer should a child grow up feeling they should hide. Let's continue showing up for one another. I promise that when you do, I'll be there, never silent for my tribe, my LGBTQ family in sport. Silence is complicity. 
Love always wins. Thank you, everyone. Good night.